Hello everyone and welcome to my channel. This is Elise here at Plan With Elise and I'm so excited because for the very first time I have a Moxie Life package. This is the Moxie Life Goal Setting and Planner System. I did purchase this. I had the opportunity to purchase it early as an affiliate to be able to share with you. So I just want to give a couple housekeeping notes. This, this, these items release, uh, the 2024 collection releases on September 28th, 10 a.m. Pacific code plan with the lease gives you a discount. I will double check that in case it's different, but it should be code plan with Elise. I'll have everything linked below. So let's dive in. And I'm also going to share a little bit about like why I made this purchase and why I'm so excited about it. So we are, there we go. Enjoy your new tools for purposeful living. Take a photo, join our reward program and earn credit. View our getting started video series. All right, so I do have a couple of accessories in here. So first up, well, you know what? Let's pull this out. We'll go through these. We'll go through it all together. First of all, I love this box that it comes in. And then we've got a little sticker. Embrace the messy bits. Yes, indeed. Okay, so let's get this open. I selected the Legacy Planner which for me, the cover was the most neutral. And if you've been around for a minute, you'll know that I just have a preference for neutral covers. Give me all the decorative insides. I'll add all the stickers and fun pens and highlighters and everything that I want, but I do want a neutral exterior. So this is the Legacy one and we've got this like dark navy blue which is so pretty this is silver and then it has a nice gray band on it so opening it up we have this today bookmark that pops in although it's going to be a little like with my nails they don't like me popping this okay now we have the moxie life 2024 horizontal weekly edition and then now I'm not going to be able to necessarily share with you how this has varied from last year. This is more of a, this is my first time with a Boxy Life product and why I decided to purchase it, why I'm excited to share it and what I hope to get out of it. So to give a little bit of background, I have used other goal setting systems in the past. This past year and a half, I really just used my Happy Planner monthly layout for goal setting but that was only me putting my goals in my planner. There was nothing guided in there. And I've been feeling the need for something a little bit more concrete and guided, especially as I reach another life, um, I don't wanna say plateau, it's a milestone. But basically when I first started goal setting systems in planning, I was doing it right after a breakup when looking for a new home, my plan with the lease account had just started earning money and it was kind of like this, what in the world is my life going to look like moment? I'm kind of in a similar boat right now because I don't know what's next, right? This year was huge. I bought a house. Um, I'm on a great in like trajectory and stuff with plan with the lease. My career is going well, my full-time job, things with my family are good but I don't know what's next. And that's why I wanted another dedicated goal setting system to help me figure that out. So that's what we are doing. So we have getting started pages and the steps because there is going to be some work here. So we are going to be doing a compass assessment and a life compass. And I'm going to do some assessment scoring in different categories. So personal, fun and recreation, work and learning, family and relationships, health and wellness, spiritual and personal growth, financial and physical environment. And then I have inten in intentions and information about setting goals, writing goals, three types of goals. So the stretch goals, progress and maintenance goals, annual goals, monthly goals and weekly actions. And then we have Use this space to create a list or mind map of ideas, dreams, and goals for the upcoming year. Have fun. The possibilities are endless. And these are things to consider in each area of life when writing goals. So examples, right? If 
family and relationships, healing, trust, intimacy, work and learning, financial, budget, money management, peace of mind, things like that. And then this is the space for the annual goals. So each of the same life categories, what the focus is going to be, and how will my life improve by reaching these goals. So space for each of those. And then a vision board, two pages of a vision board. Then we jump into the first month. So here is January and you have the monthly overview. Oops. And then we jump into January goals. So these two pages are where I would write all of my goals for January. And I really like the categories here. I have to figure out for myself, and this is going to be some of this goal setting work that I do in the beginning, but what does a personal goal look like for me that is different from any of these other life categories? Like fun and recreation to me is like going out and exploring. Work and learning is probably more focused on plan with the least than my full-time job. Family and relationships are going to be my family, friends, and finding a relationship. <laughs> Health and wellness is self-explanatory. Spiritual and personal growth. Typically, I feel like personal growth for me is going to be um, learning and like reading more. Health and wellness is more about maybe journaling and like physical wellness and eating right. Financial, self-explanatory, and physical environment are goals related to my home. So for me, what I really need to decide, but this does not have to be a, I decide once and that's the end of it decision is um, what I want my personal focus to be. And then you have a page here, plan ahead, dedicating 10 to 15 minutes a week to set your goals will give you more control, balance, and fulfillment in your life. So if you watched my September goal setting video, one of the things I did was I started to incorporate weekly actions into my um, goal planning because I knew that I wanted to break down my goals per week. I did that in June and then again in um, September I've been doing it. And I also knew in September that I was going to be picking up this planner. So whenever I'm using a new planner or a new system, I find it really important to practice in advance because the moment January 1st comes, you have this expectation to be able to use a new planner system perfectly and that doesn't always work. So I'm giving myself some time to practice. So this is where I'll write down the weekly actions. And then we have week, um, a horizontal layout. I believe that the legacy comes in both vertical and horizontal. I chose horizontal because I already have plenty of vertical planners. I like that the horizontal has this other little section here. I'm not sure entirely how I'm going to use this section as opposed to just the weekly actions. I just don't have that answer right now. And it's possible that when I first start this planner, I might not, right? I might put some adhesive tape here and just have the weekly actions. But I also think that this would be great space to be able to take the weekly actions that I list here and put them into a plan, right? We can put all of our plans down on, or all of our goals and ideas down on paper. But if we don't put them into our actual planner, they might not happen. I just want to make sure that we are still focused. I think we are. So these are just going to be the same pages. You have weekly actions, the weekdays, and then let's see what comes at the end. Monthly reflections. My biggest wins this month, things that are currently working in my life, things that are currently not working in my life, what I learned this month, what improvements or adjustments do I need to make going into next month, what am I most grateful for right now, habits I want to nurture next month, area I want to focus on next month and rate my overall satisfaction for the month. And then we jump to February. So it's going to be the same setup, the monthly page, the monthly goals, weekly actions, and weekly planning. So I'm just going to flip and then you have monthly reflections again. And that is going to be the same through, I think, all of this. I wasn't sure if maybe at the end of March there would be a quarterly section, but it doesn't seem that there is. Oh, quarterly compass. See, I felt like there was going to be. So now we have the ability to rate your life categories in each quarter and figure out how you want to bring them into the next one. 
So I like this progress, not perfection. And then this is all just going to be the same. So let's go towards the back of the planner because I see a tab here that says extras. And I don't entirely know what it's for yet, but we're gonna discover that <laughs> together. So we have extras. You have 2024 and 2025. And then is this just note paper? And then some note paper. There's also a pocket folder back here, two sides of pockets. And then we have some corresponding stickers. So different goals. And then these are going to be color coded with the life categories. And then a pocket back here too. So this is so pretty. Let's also take a look at what else I got. So I did purchase the goal setting bookmark trio. These say weekly actions, monthly goals, and annual goals, because I felt like it would be really helpful. Even though I know that there's this today bookmark, I thought it would be helpful to have like monthly goals here, just so that when I'm flipping through my planner, oh, this is the trick. You just do it that way. See, we're learning together. Uh, weekly actions. Let's pretend we are in this week. Oh, I'm not used to being able to like pop these in with one hand. I like that sound. And then annual goals. I'm going to jump back and bring this in over here. I'm never going to get tired of this. Right, so I picked up these bookmarks. The bookmarks are $16. This planner is $78. Again, discount code uh, plan with Elise. And then this also came with a 2023 Reflections notebook. I believe that this comes free with each um, planner purchase. So let's put this back together for a second. Look how sleek and nice it looks. I just, there's a lot of really beautiful covers in this release, but I really wanted something simple and neutral. And I'm really happy with my decision. All right, so we have 2023 Reflections. And this is a Reflections notebook, year end notebook. The power in these pages belongs to, I like that. So we have a 2023 year in review. So where you currently are, and then the start of 2023 and decide whether your scores increased, decreased, or stayed the same. What were my wins? How many, or what accomplishments did I have? What were the highlights? Challenges, what challenges did I overcome? What lessons did I learn about myself? What am I most proud of this year? How have I changed and how have I grown from a year ago? What am I most grateful for in 2023? What things are currently working well in my life? What things are currently not working well in my life? How do I want people to experience me? In what ways do I want to create an impact in the lives of my loved ones or in the world at large? I like this because it's been on my mind a lot lately. What adjustments do I want to make to my life, in my life in 2024? And then we have some reflections about 2023 and hope for 2024 and a little letter to me and some more blank pages to brain dump reflections and notes. So this is the reflections notebook, which I think is probably a great place to start before diving into the actual whoops, goal setting uh, planner. So I'm really excited to dive into Moxie Life and kind of just start a whole new system for myself and see where this planner can take me and where I can take it. So I hope that you enjoyed. Let me know if you will be picking up a planner from Moxie Life's 2024 launch. Remember, release is on September 28th, 10 a.m. Pacific code plan with Elise will give you a discount. It is also an affiliate link, which means that I earn a commission uh, when you purchase. So that is a wrap. I'm so, so excited. I hope you are too. Thanks for spending time with me today and I will see you soon.